Hey guys, Jason with JW Classic VW and doing an upgrade today. Upgrading that oil system. You guys know what A&M fittings are like? They're like a warm blanket. Sense of comfort and security. Check it out guys. You know, near the uh, oil cooler. A little questionable. And I got some help from some of the guys out there in YouTube land that, and on Facebook that said uh, that I should probably replace the the type of uh, hose clamps that I had with something a little bit more, I don't know, safe. And I agree. After driving a little bit and having a little bit of oil seeping by, uh, the chances of an oil line blowing off are probably pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that system right now. And I ordered some of uh, the Evil Energy kits offline. So I'm going to go check that out. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Let's take a look at this, uh, this little kit we got here. Sound good? Sounds good. Where's my? So, this is Evil Energy's kit off of Amazon, and I've used them for my fuel system so far too, and it's pretty good stuff. So let's uh. See what the, the dash eight looks like. This kit. The kit includes dash eight is equal to like half an inch size. So I've got some nineties here, which are good. Put the nineties. And the whole reason for this uh, is not only does it look good, which that's pretty cool, but also it uh, it's a lot safer than just using like a hose clamp, like what I have on there right now. We'll go ahead and take a look at that again here in a second. This kit is about 50 bucks, and it comes with 10 foot of line. This is for fuel or for oil, which is good. And I like the black, because that's what I'm going with, black. What is this? Is this an invoice? I don't know. It's instructions. It's the instructions like if you had a vice, which I don't have a vice. So we do this the old fashioned way, just good old uh, muscle. Alright. Very important to have a very sharp cutting utensil when uh, cutting this hose. I use a uh, pair of cable cutters that I have around here somewhere. <laughs> They're in my bag in my truck. So you got two 90s, two 45s, two straights. And then these I ordered separately. These ones are like about four bucks. They go right to the engine itself. Coming out of the, uh, coming out of the, uh, oh cool, they fit good, they fit good. The full flow system. They look a little big, but that should be right. Hoping that's right. Hoping I ordered the right right size. These really big ones right here are for these these big adapters. Are half inch NPT for the oil cooler. And that's where the real concern is, I think, for the oil line may pop off. So. And this dash eight, which is great about this stuff, man, it's just you just cinch it down, and then it's tight, oil tight, oil fuel tight, whatever you're using, pretty awesome. And we need four of them for the uh, for the oil oil filter adapter. We need the two there and the two for the actual uh, oil cooler. Very cool, and that's that's the uh, little kit to add that uh, little sense of security that uh, that I'm wanting. So let's go ahead and get repositioned underneath the car, so we can show you guys exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to what we're going to be replacing. So let's move that way. Oh yeah, injury grinder injury. All right, guys, this is the oil cooler, and you can see that I have hose clamps on here right now, which. 
are just a little bit scary. And you see some oil seeping and that's what we're upgrading. I'm also going to go ahead and move this whole assembly, move this whole assembly back in, tuck it in a little bit more closer into the fender, which I'm going to have to slot the uh, the actual mounting bracket over here. I'm going to have to slot that little hole in there. I'm going to have to slot them open up a little bit to be able to do that. So we're going to be replacing all of this line, all of this oil line. I'm going to be replacing all of this with the, the upgraded line. And that will be quite a bit better than what I currently have. So get to work on that here in a second. I need to go ahead and drain this part of the system. And then I can go ahead and move on from there to start uh, doing what I have to do to get this oil, oil cooler and the lines upgraded. All right. Reposition, and then I'll be right back with you guys. All right. Bye. Let's loosen up some hose clamps. And be ready to catch some oil because that's what's going to happen. We're going to have some oil coming up out of this oil cooler, which, uh, you know, should be expected. <laughs> Try to find a good position here. Everything wants to get in my way. I gotta have room for you guys to see too, right? All right, so we'll loosen up the as soon as, you know, my, my thought process was is as soon as this was to get really hot or actually put some real work in, it's going to get so hot that it's it's going to do what I'm worried about, and that's uh, pop off. And that would be no bueno, man. No bueno. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this line here a little bit to relieve the strain on it. Now there is that chance that they wouldn't have leaked, but man, I really don't want to take that risk. So we're going to put this one here to catch what's coming up out of there. And let's, let's see how much of a mess we make, guys. Right? Just a little bit tricky. Where's that? Well, there's, there's like hardly any coming out of there. This is the one I was worried about. That one. Come about there. Let's go up there. Okay. We'll be replacing the this one on here. You know, the cardboard box is where I'm going to toss these lines once I pull them off. And I'm hoping that anything that leaks... Well, that, made, that one pulls off easy. Oh, there's like nothing coming out of there. There's like nothing coming up out of the filter one over here. That one will be easy to pull off in place. It's its brother over here. This one right here, I got two clamps on. Because it was leaking. Like you would not believe. All right, guys, so the, the best viewing angle for you guys is, is going to be from underneath here. So inside here, that's my full flow tap. That's the return into the case right there. I got to take that out, and then I got to take the other one out. That one right there. I got to take that one out, too. So this is going to be a little difficult to film with one hand. I don't have a tripod that gets me like So, a little bit more work to do on the ground. I'm gonna put these things in, and then uh, I'll be right back. I gotta cut the hoses to length, and then put them in. Okay, talk to you in a second. All right, guys, so my first line that I have to make, it's a pretty short one. It's straight out of the, uh, straight out of the oil pump into the filter. 
And it takes two straights. You can't use four or anything there. It's going to be the two straights there. So these are the cable cutters I was telling you about. You can get these at Home Depot. They sell them there. So the way that I'm going to do this is just kind of cut an idea of how long I think it's going to be, which is something probably shorter than this, honestly. And then I'll put the uh, one end on, and then I'll work my way over to the other end. Now, you can clean up the edges a little bit too with some scissors. It's gonna have to be sharp ones. And it's almost like I'm cutting a little angle on this, just to help feed it. Because like I told you, I don't have a vise, so I do it a little different around the house here. And then take it apart. And this is the end we'll put on first. This what it works is just a clamp, like a spreading clamping force. This gets forced inside there, pushes it out against against the wall of this one. I'm sure they have technical names that I do not know. All right, so I just grease it up. Believe me, the grease is going to be your friend. This is a bigger hose, so the one that I've done already was on a smaller hose, and the grease made a world of difference. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and start this into it a little bit. I like that. Start this into here a little bit. Just start it in there, nice and easy. It's actually twisted in there pretty good. Dang man, that thing went in there like, I didn't have to put any force on it. Man, I've never seen that before. So I got a special tools for this too, so you don't like scratch these up. I don't have those either. So I just use a little baby crescent wrench, put a little lube on the end here. The end going in. Go ahead and start a little bit. And then uh, this is a 24 millimeter uh, rip wrench, so I just stick that on there and go to go to town, man. Run her down. Not only will this look better, but it's a heck of a lot safer. Up to I think 500 psi, which we don't come anywhere near that with uh, this setup. I think we're maybe at max. Uh, a little over 100 psi on the uh, oil pressure, which that might be <clears throat> that might be wishful wishful thinking right there. That is not going anywhere. Cool. So now I'm gonna go back down underneath and get an idea of the length that I needed to cut. So I'll be right back, guys. It's a little easy. Well, I don't say easy, but definitely not as difficult as the other stuff was. You want to pay attention when you're putting the. Uh, putting in your your hose in there that you can see that it's seated all the way up through so I'll show you in a second what I'm talking about there's some like almost looks like threads inside of this fitting that's what you want you want to be able to see the hose coming up through I don't know if you guys can see that or not you can see a little bit of the uh, the metal in the jacket That is going to be a 45 to a 90. Yep. I'm going to go 45 off the filter, oil filter, back this way, around to the 45. So let's go ahead and set that up real quick. This is going a lot easier than the last one I had. Like I've told you guys, this is uh, this is well, actually quite a bit easier. I'm hoping that doesn't mean it's going to be like some cheapo hose that leaks. I don't know what it is about something that's difficult, but when you've done something that's hard, or it's been difficult, or you've had to fight with it really a lot, you kind of know it's going to work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know what that that uh, that logic is exactly, but uh, that is the logic that I've kind of lived my life by. 
that if you have to work for it, that uh, it's probably going to work. <laughs> or you, you've earned it to work. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So just get it in there. Push it in. Just turn it. And it's almost on there. Good. Goody, goody, goody. A little lube. And just like anything else, guys, it's uh, whatever works for you. Stick, stick to what works for you. If you've got a better way of doing this or your way of doing this, then stick to it, man. And by means, I'm not saying that what I'm doing is, is the only way to do it. There's lots of ways to do things. Mine works for me. Yours works for you. That's all that matters, right? That's all that matters. This does look a lot better. I do like like the look. My new engine is doing well. I gotta. I'm gonna work on the timing a little bit more. I, I know there's more power in this bad boy. It's definitely like when I first ran it. Uh, I knew there was something wrong because <laughs> it definitely didn't have the power that I thought it should. So the um, so after I got the timing in, I did I did uh, 30 30, which is 30 degrees advance at uh, 3,000 RPMs, and that was not it either. So the way this is gonna work, guys, is here's my 90, and I'm just gonna bring this down right into it. So that that should work out really good. I'm thinking somewhere around um, here, right about here. Yeah, man, my cutters. I need to sharpen them up because. They're, they're dying on me. And after I do all my oil system, I'll be doing my uh, my breather system all on A&M fittings eventually, but that's got a lot more connections to do. That one's gonna be the more expensive. Perfecto. She's singing, Dad, I'm ready to go. I'm ready, Dad. Fire me up. One more line to put on. The return line. This is good. Because you're gonna need it. Yep. yep. So this is what we're working with. It turned out pretty good, guys. That's how I had to wrap that one around for the 90. That's the return side. Going in here. Yeah, it turned out really good. Really good. Oh, you guys can see that very good. But yeah, I think that's good. Turned out good. Guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Jason with JW Classic VW, and the next video is going to be the uh, 2276 video, continued, continuing on the build. Um, we got a car show this weekend. I can't wait to go check it out. It's here in Link City. Uh, thank you to all my new subscribers. Go ahead and click that uh, subscribe button or the bell. Subscribe bell. Yeah, hit the hit the bell thing so you can keep getting content if you enjoy what you're seeing. All right, guys, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll talk to you later. This is Jason from uh, JW Classic VW. Good night.